hello wonderful friends you are welcome back to my channel yeah so today we are asked to find the radius of this circle please this is not drawn to scale so this is a circle from here to here is 13 from here to here is 18 from here to here is 6 and we are asked to find the radius where do we start from <laughs> don't mind me we can do this together yeah now look at what we have here the first thing we need to do is how do we bring in the radius of this circle into the picture how how do we bring it in now let us first of all do this using pythagoras theory well i'm going to solve this using two methods so pick your popcorn and sit boots okay because this is going to be a bit long but you are going to enjoy it trust me now let's us do this using the first method the first method is this i'm going to use pythagoras theorem twice to achieve a goal the first thing is this now we have from here to here is 13 right so if we look at this it means that if we draw a straight line from here to the center of this circle okay remember that this is a chord okay this is a chord and a line from the center of the circle a straight line from the center of the circle drawn to meet a point to meet a chord divides a chord into two equal parts okay it divides a chord into two equal parts that means if you, this is a circle and this is the center of the circle and you have a chord okay if you draw a straight line from the center then this place will be equal to this place all right that is circle theorem so having said that because the whole of this is 13 if we draw a line from the center to meet this chord at this point it simply means that from here to here will be equal to from here to here now 13 divided by 2 we give us the value of what we have here and 13 divided by 2 give us the value of what we have here that means this place will be 6.5 okay and this place will be 6.5 as well having said that let us go back to the diagram okay now if i draw a straight line from this center to this place something like this this is supposed to come from the center okay now this line is our radius all right then from here to here is 6.5 let me draw it out we draw this we draw this and we draw this okay all right now from here to here is 6.5 this is 90 degrees remember that 90 degrees is formed when this straight line touches this chord okay so this place is 90 degrees now let us call from here to here h from here to here h and this place is our radius right this is our radius now we are going to leave this let us bring out another right angled triangle now we have this we have this okay this is 90 degrees now this place is 18 so if we join this from here to here we have another right angle okay so let's draw that like this like this and like this and from here to here is our radius right yes this is right angle right angle now from here to here is what we don't know remember that from here to here is 18 right yeah let me write it that way from here to here is 18 but from here to here is what 6.5 here to here is 6.5 according to our diagram so to get the value of from here to here it should be 18 minus 6.5 okay and 18 minus 6.5 we give us 11.5 so that means that from here to here is 11.5 all right now remember that from here to here is our hash from here to here is our hash but from here to here is six okay if from here to here is hash and from here to here is six it means that this remaining portion should be hash minus six right yeah so it's going to be hash minus six so we have hash minus six here all right yeah now 
let us remember the Pythagoras theorem. Yes. Now, the Pythagoras theorem states that if you have a right angled triangle, this side facing the right angle is our hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. So, this is our H. Now, the remaining parts, if we call the remaining parts of the triangle or the remaining sides A and B, then according to Pythagoras, it says that A squared plus B squared is equal to H squared. A squared plus B squared is equal to H squared. Now, we are going to use this theorem for these two triangles that we formed. Now, if you look at this, we can say arrow squared, okay? Or let us start from this, okay? Arrow squared, we have arrow squared will be equal to h minus 6 squared, h minus 6 squared plus 11.5 squared. 11.5 squared. Let's call this equation 1. Similarly, let's go to this. If you look at this, we have R squared as well is equal to 6.5 squared. Or let's write this H squared first, since this is in terms of H, plus 6.5 squared. And this is equation 2. If we say equation 1 minus equation 2, what do we get? Now, R squared minus R squared is already 0, right? So we have 0 is equal to, we have H minus 6 squared plus 11.5 squared minus H squared plus 6.5 squared. Okay? So let's open the bracket. I think it's time to clean this. You don't really need it anymore, right? If you're actually enjoying this video, <laughs> please give us a thumbs up because that is a way of telling the algorithm that, yes, this particular uh, video is really interesting. All right. So here we have zero is equal to hash minus six squared plus 11.5 squared minus times h squared is minus h squared minus h squared minus times plus 6.5 squared is minus 6.5 squared. Now, when we have a minus b all squared, this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, okay? So that means that a minus b squared, in this case, is h minus 6 squared, okay? So let's open the bracket like that. So 0 is equal to, it's going to be h squared minus 2 times 6 times h is 12h plus 6 squared, okay? Then plus 11.5 squared, minus h squared minus 6.5 squared all right now we have h squared minus h squared that one is there that one has gone okay so we have zero is equal to minus 12 h okay then we have plus 6 squared plus 11.5 squared minus 6.5 squared okay so let us transfer this to this side. So we add 12H to both sides of the equation. So we have 0 plus 12H is equal to minus 12H plus 12H plus 6 squared plus 11.5 squared minus 6.5 squared. So we have that 12H is equal to minus 12H plus 12H we give us zero. So we have six squared plus 11.5 squared minus 6.5 squared. All right. Let me 
excuse me let me clean part of this okay let me clean the front so that we can continue okay so this is what we have here let me write it out that 12 hash is equal to 6 squared plus 11.5 squared minus 6.5 squared now remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b okay then this will be 12 hash is equal to 6 squared plus so this is 11.5 minus 6.5 multiplied by 11.5 plus 6.5 all right so we have 12 h is equal to 6 squared is 36 plus now 11.5 minus 6.5 we give us 5 right so we have 5 multiplied by 11.5 plus 6.5 we give us 18 so we have 12 h is equal to 36 plus 5 times 8 is 40, 5 times 1 is 5, plus this is 9. So it means that 12 hedge is equal to 0 plus 6 is 6, 9 plus 3 is 12. So to get our hedge, our hedge is 1, 2, 6 divided by 12. Okay? Are you there? <laughs> so we now have the hash is equal to 12 divide this we have 1 1 and divide 6 is 0 point divide 60 is 5 so it means that hash is equal to 10.5 okay but we are looking for the radius of this circle so what are we waiting what are we using what are we going to use the answer to do now first of all oh i've claimed that if we go back to our diagram, let me recreate what I did. Remember that using this right angle triangle, okay, from here to here is our radius. This is right angle. From here to here is 6.5, and here to here is our hash, okay? And from the uh, Pythagoras theorem, we had that R squared is equal to 6.5 squared plus h squared, okay? So I'm going to leave the value of our hash. And then I will write this out. Now recall, recall that R squared is equal to 6.5 squared plus H squared. Okay? Um, if at the end of this method I notice that the video is already too long, then I'm going to cut it on this first method. And we are going to do a different video for the second method. Okay? All right. Now, R squared then should be equal to 6.5 squared plus. Now our height is 10.5. Okay, so it's going to be 10.5 squared as well. So R squared is equal to. Now I'm going to make use of my calculator. Okay, so let's use our calculator. So using our calculator, we have 6.5 squared. 6.5 squared is 42.25. 42.25 plus 10.5 squared. 10.5 squared is 110.25 as well. Okay? So R squared is equal to 42.25 plus 110.25. 42.25 plus 110.25 that will give us 152.5 okay now the take square root of both sides if we take square root of both sides okay then we are going to have this you can see this you have r is equal to then let's take square root of 152.5 which will give us approximately 12.35 meters or uh, centimeter whatever the unit is okay now let me check the video if it's already long then we are cutting it here okay 
oh this is already 15 minutes long and we are going to continue this video the second method on a different video all right thank you so much and i wish to see you watch that next video bye